students welcome back once again to the mathematics session in this video lesson we are going to discuss about the vedic math series right in vedic maths we were discussing all the series like the additions the introductory part the subtractions the specific techniques of multiplications general techniques of multiplications divisions that is arthur benjamin method i have discussed all this so those who have not watched those videos please watch those videos and proceed to this video and the immediate previous video you can click on the i button and get it notified right in this video session i'll be uh, discussing with you the divisions part 2 that method is called as the nikulam method okay this nikulam method we have also come across in the subtractions nikulam method the concept of the complement nikulam okay so this nikulam method we have come across in the subtraction also now we will see in the uh, divisions how does it work out now here students let's get started with a simple examples i have noted two problems one is two digit number divided by nine and a three digit number divided by seven now this method works well for the numbers which are just near to the base numbers okay the numbers which are near to the base numbers like so i'm telling the base numbers of 10 that is 10 to the power of n okay 10 100 1000 so on these are called base 10 numbers okay so the divisors see here the divisor is 7 the divisor is 9 the divisors here should be the base 10 numbers nearing to the base 10 numbers okay so the divisor here so this method of nikulam works with that now we have discussed in a previous video about the arthur benjamin method that is a general method this is a specific method okay specific method uh, this works out well for the numbers those numbers who, which are the divisors which are near to the base like base 10 base 100 base 1000 okay now these there now let's start let's start this here this this is a device isn't it this is a dividend divisor is near to the base 10 now i'll also discuss with you the numbers uh, near to the base 100 also okay now let's get started with the nikulam method now in this method we will start with the basic one simple to get it illustrated so i will uh, start with the 2 and 5 since the base here the base is what now we are discussing the base 10 okay these two so here the divisor is near to the base isn't it nearing to the base 10 so this is base 10 method when it is called as a base 10 so 10 means only one zero so what we have to do for the div uh, dividend we have to place one one digit from the right side like this this is not vinculum or anything but just placing one one digit for the base 100 when the divisor is base 100 we will make partition for two two digits because two zeros for base thousand three three digits partition we will make now after that here always in the divisions what we were doing the last number we are making a partition so that that will give us the remainder isn't it so from the right we will make a partition so this part will give us the remainder so if you are taking three digits this part will give us the remainder if it is four digit likewise now here this is the remainder now when we are dividing with nine we have to take the complement of nine what is the complement of nine is one complement in the sense when you sum up those two numbers it comes to ten so complement of eight is two complement of seven is three right complement of 4 is 6 likewise so the complement of 9 is 1 okay so this is the complement so if you have seen my videos of uh, vedic maths you will know uh, concept of complement nothing but when two numbers are summed up they 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 have to come to 10 that is called complement now the complement of 9 is 1 so i'll place it here now i'll start with the same procedure this is 2 i'll drop the first number as it is okay i'll drop this as it is 2 2 into 1 we have to multiply with the complement that means indirectly we are dividing with the 9 
so i'll multiply this number as it is i've dropped 2 into 1 is 2 so we have to add it to the next number so if you add it 5 plus 2 comes to 7 okay so this part what i told this part here this part gives us the remainder so this is the remainder whereas this is the quotient okay so quotient is 2 remainder is 7 so for illustration i have taken a simple example let's get started with the second one now this is also to the base 10 nearing to the base 10 so nikula method works out well Let, let's start see here 7 5 4 6 now here it is base 10 that means 0 1 0 is there i'll be placing i'll be making marking like 1 1 digit i'll be making marking okay now the last one gives us the remainder so i'll make a partition for that now let's take the complement of 7 is 3 right now we will drop the first number as it is 5 right now first number as it is this number should be multiplied with the complement and added to the next number that's the process 5 3 is a 15 so 15 is added to 4 that comes to 19 so this is double digit number he got we got one and one digit here double digit number later on we will do the balancing okay so when double digit number comes you place a line here now here this 19 must be multiplied with 3 so that we get we get something that should be added to here okay so 19 threes uh, 19 threes is somewhat 57 okay 9 threes 27 right likewise if you don't know just multiply 9 threes 27 7 2 carry up 3 1 3 plus 2 57 so 57 this multiplied to complement carried over here add these two these two if you add you get how much 63 right you get 63 so 63 so this part should be our remainder but say that can any number remainder will be greater than the divisor the remainder should not be greater than the divisor isn't it that is a rule for even the traditional method of division also so here this is not the remainder that it still has to be when the remain when you get the remainder which is more than the divisor then you have to multiply it again okay now 7 how much are 63 nines are okay 7 nines are you get 63 so you get 0 this is the final remainder so 7 how many times we have multiplied 9 times that you have to add it here okay see here the last number i got 63 as the remainder but 63 remainder is more than our divisor it should not be that is not the rule of division isn't it so it should be further divided so that means seven nines are seven nines are 63 so if you minus so zero is a final remainder and here we need to balance okay so nine nine eight this is 28 isn't it so 28 and 5 we need to balance here how we balance this comes to here so 78 this is the final quotient now all this if you look at it you think that this is very big process than the traditional division but not so it is very very simple in few seconds you can get the answer for the illustration i have made so many steps no need of these many steps okay so you have understood here when the divisor if you get more than when the remainder is more than the divisor then you need to further divide it okay likewise so this is the remainder 0 is the remainder and 78 is a quotient now let's take the next problem please note it down let's say now, let's see, let's the, next see the third problem so i've taken four digit number with the divisor as 8 this is near to the base 10 so i've taken 8 okay now here we will start 8 divided so let us write 6 4 2 7 since it's base 10 so 1 0 so i'll make a partition with for all one numbers i'll keep like this okay now the last one will give us the remainder so i'll we have to make a partition now for 8 2 is the complement right now drop the first digit as it is 6 yes 6 2s are 12 write it here 12 plus 4 is 16 okay make a partition like this 16 into 2 comes to 32 now add 32 with 2 comes to 34 
so since there are two digit numbers i'm making uh, this finally i can balance it now 32 into 2 gives to 68 68 plus 7 comes to somewhat around 75 okay 75 this is the remainder but actually we should get here as remainder but remainder is more than our divisor divisor is 8 remainder is 75 so still it should be further divided so 8 how much is 75 8 nines 8 nines 72 we get isn't it so we get 3 this is the final remainder and how many times we have multiplied further so 8 nines that 9 should be added over here so we get here 43 16 6 now we will do the balancing method 3 this is carried over it becomes 20 so 0 2 will be carried over so 8 0 3 you know the balancing isn't it the balancing i'm doing it this is the final quotient right so dividing with the number which is near to the base 10 so likewise we will be dividing please note it down we will see for base 100. now with a double digit number but see here the divisors 97 here 87 right they are near to the base 100 here okay so we will see the base the divisors when they are near to the base 100 right so 100 means two zeros so we have to make a partition for two let's get started with 97 the process is same okay now here now since there are two zeros we will make a partition from two two okay these two one and the remaining one is one if if there is another number we can make a partition but we have to start from the right two digits and one okay now we know that the last partition will give us the remainder okay here the last partition is this so it is i have written apart okay the last partition is this this complete thing is one set we are taking so not only six so the partition which gives us the remainder is this here see here base 100 means two zeros so we have to divide if it is a five digit number two two and one likewise we have to divide the last two numbers will form a set that will give us the remainder that is the process now the complement of 97 now complement we have we should see for the hundred okay now for 100 how much it is less so 3 so 0 3 so 0 3 is a complement of 97 so nearing to 100 now we will do the same process first drop the number 1 first digit as it is then we have to multiply this this digit with the complement 1 into 3 is 3 only so this comes to 49 46 plus 3 49 now what i told this part will give us the remainder so this is our remainder whereas 1 is our quotient right as simple as this so for bigger numbers it works out so much for the illustration i have taken small small numbers okay now let us take the next one 87 is the divisor nearing to the base 2 3 and 4 now since it is near to 100 so two zeros we have to make a partition for two two digits now there is only one digit left over so i made a partition like this and this part will give us so this set this will give us the remainder section now here how much it is lesser to 100 the complement of 87 is 13 13 is a complement of 87 so the first number as it is you'll drop so that is 2 now 2 multiplied by complement so 13 to 26 so add it and write down here this comes to 60 okay 10 and 1 so 60 so this is our final remainder now if the remainder is more than the divisor we need to further divide it but this is less isn't it 60 is less than 87 so this is the final remainder and this is the quotient part okay so please make a note let's see few more problems now here this number 98 is a divisor 2407 is the number four digit number we have taken so this is nearing to the base 10 so the complement of 98 is 2 0 2 we can write or 2 just now here for two two digits we will make a partition like here we will uh, group them into two two digits because it is having two zeros now the last one the last set will give us the remainder right 
now the same procedure we have to drop the first one as it is 24 okay after dropping it we have to multiply with the complement and add it to the next number 24 twos are 48 so 48 plus 7 you add them so this comes to 55 so the 55 is the remainder because this is lesser than 98 if it is more than 98 we need to further divide it so this is the final remainder and 24 is the quotient right finished now let's start with the next one 94 here okay 94 when we divide it with 4 5 6 7 let's make partition for two two numbers then what we have to do the last set is for the remainder part now the complement of uh, 94 is 6 isn't it so the first number will drop it as it is okay first number when you drop it 45 right here 45 into 6 so 6 fives are 33 6 fours are 24 plus 6 so 270 it comes right so 45 into 6 270 that this should be multiplied with the complement and added to the here we get here 7 3 okay 337 we get but see here the remainder this is not the remainder because it is more than our divisor divisor is 94 so the remainder is more so we have to further divide it so how many times it goes 94 3 is up. let's see for 3 if you are going for 3 you should add it here 3 uh, 94 threes are see here here only we'll add 9 4 uh, 3 4 12 here 9 3 is 27 1 28 okay see if you want you can do it 94 threes are 12 9 3 is 27 28 right so 282 further divide maximum you have to divide okay this comes to 5 and 5 so this is the final remainder since the remainder is more than the divisor we need to further divide it so this is the final remainder and 48 is the quotient so 94 when divided for 4 5 6 7 we got quotient as 48 and the remainder as 55 likewise we can simply do the divisions when the divisors are nearing to base 10 so when they are near to the base 10, when they are like from 6, 7, 8, 9, they are near to the base 10. And 96, 97, 86, 87, all these, they are near to the base 100. So this is called as a Nikola method. Hope, please uh, make a note. Hope you have understood this method. Let's see with a new technique in our next session. Thank you all.